time moves on, unceasing. In many ways, the world feels more complicated now. But is it really? Think about the context of Jesus' day under the Roman Empire. Many things have changed since then. And yet, some things have stood the test of time. Traditions, mindsets, and even our tendency towards distractions. Over 2,000 years ago, the most significant event in history took place in this city. And just as then, the city's distraction with lesser things brings the compassionate heart to tears. Therefore, we must pay much closer attention to what we have heard, lest we drift away from it. Hebrews chapter 2, verse 1. How shall we escape if we neglect such a great salvation? Verse 3. But we see him who for a little while was made lower than the angels, namely Jesus, crowned with glory and honor because of the suffering of death, so that by the grace of God, he might taste death for everyone. Verse 9. For it was fitting that he, for whom and by whom all things exist, in bringing many sons to glory, should make the founder of their salvation perfect through suffering. Verse 10. For he who sanctifies and those who are sanctified all have one source. That is why he is not ashamed to call them brothers. Verse 12. Since therefore the children share in flesh and blood, he himself likewise partook of the same things, flesh and blood, that through death he might destroy the one that has power over death, namely the devil, and deliver all those who through fear of death were subject to lifelong slavery, 14 and 15. Therefore, he had to be made like his brothers in every respect, fully human, so that he might become a merciful and faithful high priest in the service of God to make propitiation for the sins of the people. For because he himself has suffered when tempted, he is able to help those who are being tempted, 17 and 18. Jesus, fully God and fully man, was the only priest fit to spill his own blood upon the altar, the cross. He was the perfect sacrifice for our sins. Our world is full of a trillion distractions, but there's nothing more important than taking time to remember this sacrifice willingly made for you. As the writer of Hebrews challenges us, we must pay much closer attention to what we have heard, lest we drift away from it. For how shall we escape God's judgment if we neglect so great a salvation? 